Hey guys, welcome back and Smith from Backbench Code. So this is the last part of this course. In this part, I'll show you how you can fit the initial data to the hook. This is a special use case if you are doing some server-side data fetching. Okay, I'll show you. But before that, just uncomment this create post component. And then we don't have to mute it function, so just grab this from the hook. Mute it, fine. Now it should work. Just go to the page. Okay, let's create a new post. My post. So much creativity, click on add post. And that's my optimistic UI in action. And yeah, cool. And now let's see how to pass the initial data. Okay, so if you are using Nexus, then there's a high possibility that you are doing some server side data fetching. In that case, you need to send the data to the page and then the page will render the data, right? So just see the data fetching techniques. Next is data fetching techniques. If you're not familiar with the data fetching techniques, there are a lot of videos on YouTube. In fact, I have two videos on my channel. Please watch that. This course is not about data fetching techniques, so I'll not go deep into this. Okay, so let's do either get server side props or get static props. Let's do get server side props. Let me just search get server. Yeah, click on this. So this function will be called on every request. So let's copy this function and then just go to index.tsx page, our home page, and here we'll get all the posts in the server side and then we'll send the post to the page our page will render the data so basically we're gonna make a request here request to get the post cool and then after getting the data you can destructure this from the props inside this home page and then look at this you're also making another request to get the first set of data so basically you are duplicating the request and how can you prevent that you can prevent this if you pass the server side data as the initial data in that case, the data will be cached and you can also use all the features of SWR. Okay, so let's do it. So you're gonna make an asynchronous request. So let's use try catch. Cool. Here, have it. Axios. Dot git. Cool. You need to pass the absolute URL here. So let's grab the absolute URL. This is localhost 3001. Yeah, this one. Let's copy this and pass this inside the code, cool. This is page zero, you want a first set of data, so page zero and limit is five, I guess, yeah. So this will give me the first set of data, fine. Just grab the data, so const, restructure, data, fine. Let's also handle if something goes wrong. So at the top, I'm gonna create a variable, so let post, that is array of I post, and then after getting the data, I'm gonna update the post. So post is equal to data and then if something goes wrong i'm going to update the post with an empty array fine just save this code and then just see what's coming so log post let's go to a browser and refresh the page fine in the server side i should see some data let's go to console yeah we have the first set of data this is now we need to send this data to the page and how can you send that you can send this in inside this props object so post is post let's save this and now i can just destructure so post cool and then i'm gonna send the post as the initial data so here inside this brace just inside the object just pass the post as the initial data so initial data as post but it will give me some errors and that is because my hook does not accept the second argument you can also see that we don't have the typescript intelligence so let's fix that let's go to the hook inside this hook let's grab the second argument so here after this string let me just zoom in cool. the second argument is options and the type is swr infinite configuration yeah cool so here I'll get this and just pass the options to this hook. Oops, not dot, comma. Options, fine. And now just go to the index.tsx and you can see your autocomplete. Just remove this initial data again and put initial data. And look at this, post. Beautiful. And now just go to a browser, look at 3000. See the networks tab. You will not see the first request okay just refresh 
and look at this we are not making the first request right but what if something goes wrong in the server side for example if you get an error in that case we are going to render an empty array right so that's our logic here i'm just assigning this empty array so let's intentionally make an error let's say 3002 the connection should be refused and i'll get an empty array at the end i should not get any data okay look at this it's loading and that is because our logic is if the data is an empty array just show the loader mm -hmm. here it is just show the loader because the paginated post dot length is one but the point is if we get an error we need to handle that and how can we handle that really simple so the initial data will not send a post will send null and then when the hook receives null it will make a new request to get the data okay let me just make this so if the post dot length is zero in that case i'll send null else i'll just send the post okay fine just save this and now let's see refresh and you can see that our browser will make a request look at this they have handled that so my hook receives null and decided that okay i need to make all the requests my server side data fetching failed because i received null cool and then it will be simple again just go to the scroll down it will make more requests really simple okay so if you are doing server side data fetching this is really helpful cool so that's all about this course i guess i have covered all the essential things there are a few things left as per the documentation but those are not needed i mean obviously those are needed but not in the regular use cases okay so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this series if you have enjoyed this please let me know i love to get some feedback i'll put the link of the source code in the description box if something goes wrong please check that out or let me know okay so see you in the next part hey wait i make videos on web development and web designing so if it somehow sounds interesting somehow please hit the subscribe button Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.